Hello there. How are you? Today I'm playing some two point campus and I'm so excited. I am a big, 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 big fan of two point hospital. I've got hours and hours in that game and I've been like really, really, really eagerly awaiting two point campus ever since it was first announced. So I'm super excited to play today. I got a month of Game Pass to play it first off because I couldn't wait to play it and that was like a really cheap way of playing it rather than buying the full game. So Game Pass, yeah, it's a good deal guys, just a dollar and I got to play this. Looks like we have, I'm gonna say Bogwarts because I think that that was something that they said at Two Point Hospital. But Right? Does it not look like a certain wizarding school <laughs> that we all know? <laughs> so for those of you not familiar though, by the way, with the two point games, they are simulation management games. Uh, the first one was set in a hospital, and it was really a spiritual successor to the old game Theme Hospital, which I didn't play, but I, a lot of people I know did and loved it. They have a very, very silly sense of humor. Uh, not, you know, not based on real illnesses or anything, but like silly made up things like Bogwarts. <laughs> and this one is going to be a school management game where you run a university, I think. So let's dive in, let's play. Um, there's gonna be a bit of a loud, I've already seen it, uh, but then I, re I stopped the game. So, <laughs> here's a little fun video showing what the, the game's gonna be like, basically. There's Cheesy Cubbins. Cheesy Cubbins was a big thing, and uh, it's a round of, like, cheese doodles things from the snack vending machines. So it looks like we're gonna have a return to a lot of those silly names and brands that we love from Two Point Hospital uh, with some new additional things probably gonna have to make like dorms and offices and classrooms oh there's the little mustache things that get stuck underneath everything oh my I'm so excited. I, it's honestly one of the funnest management games like you'll ever play. Two Point Hospital is. Can't imagine this being any different. And it really will bring back memories of those old simulation management games you may have grown up playing, like I did. Oh, welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank, your own personal advisor, and I'm here to help. You may not have any experience as a campus administrator, but the people at Fresh Lake County College are eager to give you a chance. I'm not sure what that says about them, but hey, let's head to Fresh Lake Meadows and get started on your academic empire. Alright, loading Fresh Lake Meadows. This countryside college has low expectations and a nice canal. I turned down the voice, like there's gonna be like a tannoy kind of voice thing, so turn that down, but you can still hear it. I might have to turn it down even more. I'm not really sure. It looks very cute. It looks like an English village. Oh, I'm not even reading this. I should probably be reading it. <laughs> so here's our starter community college. What's this thing? Welcome to Freshly Meadows, where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. The Two Point Countryside is the perfect place to start your career. We have course info, Scientography, student intake 10, so we're- oh, can we pause? This is just- oh, we need to learn how the game works. Yeah, let's learn the basics first. Move the camera. We. Okay, there we go. Staff are reminded to care about students. Looks like we have one little classroom already. 
here's our the CD and the lecture desk. Zoom, pan. I've already done this. Rotate, pitch. <laughs> and I like this canal. Yeah, it's very English uh, university, I suppose. Um, in The Sims, they have a university pack that's kind of based in the UK, and it also looks like this. Okay, we're building a science lab. Okay. Science lab. So the way you do it is you, like, click and drag. So let's build our science lab. Um, back here, it's got to be 5 by 5 There we go. And we got to put a door on it. Um, I'm going to put the door back here, I think, right there. Okay, these are all the things that it needs to have. So it needs to have a science board, it needs to have a science hub, uh, a science shelf, a wiper. Maybe it doesn't need all these things, but... Okay, I'm gonna put the science board yeah, against this wall. And then this thing, we'll put... Here. <laughs> and... Let's put the science shelf against this wall. What you do is, this is like the prestige of the room, and you can upgrade it to get to higher levels, and then improve your, your overall school. Okay, let's do a whiteboard uh, right there. Wow, it's very slow moving. How about a plant? The plants usually, um, janitors have to come in and uh, Cleaned up, but we did get to prestige level two, which is pretty good, and we got the three things we needed. So let's say done, and there's our science lab. I'm gonna turn on the music. It's too loud. <sighs> All right, now we're gonna need to hire a teacher. Okay, these are the. It's the only applicant we have right now. Nail Gruff. Um, so, nails squeaky clean. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> what is this? It's too loud. It's too, it's too loud. This game's not exactly the, the quietest of games. Thank you, Felicity. There he is. It's still too loud. <laughs> All right. And now we have everything we need to run our scientography course. So we're gonna hit start next year, and we're gonna welcome our first year of students. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's do it. Where are you going? I kind of feel as though you should be, I don't know, in the classroom? Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm actually a little nervous. What is this thing? Light bulb statue. It increases attractiveness. Oh, here they come. Here's our first student. Henrietta Belcher, a year one Scientography student, and Kensington Cotswallop, also a year one Scientography student. So they just come in, they attend the lecture, and that's it. What are you doing? Oh, the class is in here. So we have two different kinds of classes. Classes are scheduled throughout the year, so what is the schedule then? How do I actually see? Oh, look, here we go. So they're having a lab. Let's zoom in and have a look. Um, who is this? Wolfric Half Moon. I'm kind of thinking that this guy is maybe not a normal human. Oh no, he's just goth. I thought he was a werewolf. <laughs> not totally nocturnal, but agrees to disagree with direct sunlight. So, possibly, possibly a vampire, but we're not totally sure. Look at him go. SG 
students learn, they gain XP. Look at them, they're gaining XP. Look at them all go. Yeah, you go, Randy. There's a lot happening here. Oh, they got some pink goop. Yeah, smell it. <laughs> no, you're eating it, Tessa. Tessa, don't eat it. It looks like tubby custard. Oh, we just got paid, I think. Looks like maybe two people are waiting. That's like the queue. So these two are waiting to do something on here. So if we had a much, much bigger lab, we could probably fit two of these in there and then more students could go to work. Okay, now it's Wolfric's turn. We don't wanna, we don't wanna make him mad because I'm, I fear what may, what may happen. I honestly think this is like Tubby Custard. <laughs> You know, it's pink and it's goopy and it comes out and you're like, ew, what is that? Where's the teacher? Is he in here? Yeah. No? Yeah, that's him. He's feeling fine. We don't have any other staff, you know, like not even janitors or... I don't know. Did you finish? You're in year two. They did it. The students passed their first class. Pause, 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 pause. Sadly, they didn't do all that well. Oh no. A number of them were distracted by what? Well, yeah, probably someone will have to go to the bathroom. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in an enthusiastic and cheerful haze. So, we probably, uh, we probably need to build them a bathroom. Uh, he's very tired, so let's build them a dorm. Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable. Okay. Build a dormitory. Okay, let's put the dormitory on the far end. <gasps> Back here. So the dormitory needs to be at least two by two, and there's one bed for every five students. Oh, so they're like gonna share dorm rooms. They're not necessarily gonna... That's weird. Okay. So... Maybe we'll do it like two by three. I'm gonna put them along this wall. Let's do a door. I mean, dorm rooms are famously quite small. And a bed. We've got two different kinds of, three different kinds of beds. Black frame, brown frame, and white frame. Well, let's alternate. Um, bed, and we need a wardrobe. And can we maybe give them a window? I just feel a bit bad. Can't do an out an exterior window. That's a shame. Let's just get them a desk. I feel that every good student needs a desk, in which case I kind of wanna move this around. Let's do it like this. And that will be our basic uh, dorm room. Should we try to get it to a prestige level two? No, because it's already a bit expensive and we're not loaded with cash. So what I can do is build that, and then you can kind of just copy the exact same room, and then just do that. Although, I think I'd rather get uh, this bed than that one. There we go. Let's do one more. And we'll do it with the white frame bed. There we go. Oh look. With curtains, different kinds of curtains. That's really quite cool. And then I thought I would do the bathroom on the other side. If it fits. Like that. It's like gonna be a big dorm bathroom. Put it like that. The toilet cubicle. And we'll need... Well, we already have a door. And... So they don't even shower, they just use the toilet. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's 
going to be a pricey. That's enough, right? And we'll even do... We'll even do a hand dryer. Only one, though. Oh, we're so close. Okay, maybe... No, 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 no. I'm trying to delete this one. Maybe not delete it. Maybe just add a hand sanitizer thing. Uh, maybe I scooch... Scooch them over a little bit. And I can add the hand sanitizer. Should probably go the other way around, to be honest. But that's fine. That is a very expensive bathroom. <laughs> oh, shower room is a separate room. Well, I feel like that should have gone there, to be honest. Oh, now they're hungry. Okay. Uh, let's put in some vending machines. I'm gonna put them more out here. Um, okay. So that's how the cheesy cuppins is what I was talking about earlier. You know, it's funny. Cuppins is such an odd, like, Britishism kind of word, I think. I don't know, my partner says guppins all the time as like a catch-all term so I think it's very cute so he lo he loves this game well, he loves Two Point Hospital and he loves the old cheesy guppins thing so and a burp soda I kind of feel that we need a uh, trash bin yeah oh yeah, that was next next we are getting a janitor and we're placing some bins let's put some bins like outside the doors like they gotta throw stuff out before they come into class and I'm also gonna put one maybe down by the hmm just put it by here lots of pins I'm very worried that they're gonna litter or something okay and now we're hiring a janitor janitor dad. We've got a few options for screen side. Arthur Buzzkill, Clarabelle Silver, and Jason Belcher. So they all have different perks. Like this one is faster, this one is happier, happier, and better at maintenance. Of course they all come with different salaries too, Boris being more expensive. Let's hire Jason. I like that additional movement speed. I think that's going to be... Wait, he's slower? Move slower. And moves faster. I'm incredibly confused. <laughs> Never mind. Um, let's just hire Boris then, who is a bit more toilet comfort, but poor personal hygiene. Mm. Good personal hygiene and moves faster. Arthur's sounding like the best. Yeah, no, I think Arthur's our best option. He doesn't even go here, though, it said. <laughs> he doesn't even go here. <laughs> Wee. Okay, let's put the poor guy down before we give him a headache. He's so dizzy now, bless his heart. Okay, now we're gonna see how they do in their next class. Time to resume. They need to pass their Scientography class with a grade C so how did they all do? C? C? Did they all get C's? Oh look, they're buying stuff. Oh, making a little bit of money. We can also adjust the prices, I think, in, uh, that's campus management, yeah. Oh no, that's loans. Where is it? There's like a way that you can... There definitely was in the last game, at least. Uh, I don't know, it used to be. They, they're, they're, I'm sure there is. I just haven't figured it out yet. Oh, look. They're going to their dorm rooms. Let's watch. Wait. Wait. Yeah, there's a lot of people per dorm room. <laughs> Absolutely bursting, yet they went to bed. I go to the bathroom first before you all go to bed. What's wrong with you all? I don't know what they're paying tuition for because up until recently we didn't even have bathrooms and we still don't even have showers so I'm thinking let's build some more let's 
there's, bless their heart, they're all, they're all just, oh, we can set male, female, and so, oh, okay, so we could say, like, only Scientography students stay in a storm, that's kind of cool, it's kind of cool, um, is that enough dorms? I think our bathroom's good, we definitely have a good sized bathroom, I'll put in one more, and this one will be the special big, big room. <gasps> you know, I'm now realizing that you could probably put more than one bed. Like, actually, I don't know why this is only just occurring to me, but like, most dorm rooms have two beds in them, and they share. Right? So, maybe we squish in Let's, let's see, how do we edit the room? Add items to the room. Okay, I want to move that to, like, here. And let's see, can I add a bed? Yeah. So instead of just making another room, I could just do that. Okay, well now we have loads of beds, though. How many students do we even have? How can I tell? How can I tell? Uh, personnel management. Students. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just put in. I'll just put in a couple more. weird. That's kind of weird. Oh, is it because this bed is not all the way against the corner of the room? And then that way, yeah, there we go. Okay. Next. I forgot you can just hold a button down and you, then it picks it up. Uh, invalid. Maybe because of the big curtains or something. Because that already is definitely in the corner. Well, okay. Let's leave it alone. We'll just... Let's not buy anymore. Okay. Oh, look. There's a lecture happening. How is Wolfric doing? Wolfric still just has a C. Stupid questions will make you look stupid, she said. Oh, how'd you do? This is really cute and very different from the point get a hospital. Um, you know, where you would be welcoming and people like all the time and then they're going to these rooms and getting diagnosed and all that. Well done, we did it. The students look smarter already. The better they do, the more money you'll have to fund the campus. You receive tuition fees, yes, and a bonus for how much XP they're earning. So you do get, like, rewarded if they're doing good. Satisfying student needs, just another. Next on the agenda is a spot of studying. Okay, let's check our inbox. Welcome to the inbox. Okay, some things are time sensitive. Library. A lot of people agree that they need a library. I would also agree that feels like a pretty important need for a school. Let's build it. And I'm gonna build it down here. It needs to be at least a 3x3. Three three. Let's do a 4x5. Yes. So we have these uh, library or oh, reception. Okay, we'll put reception right. Uh, down here in the corner, like when you come in. Then obviously we're going to need computer cubicles and bookcases and a study cubicle. So I'm gonna do it like in the middle. Like let's put in no no no. 
let's do it like um like that so we've got bookcase bookcase and i'm gonna put the it needs to be a, a study cubicle and i'll put a study cubicle behind and let's also do a computer cubicle it's not an amazing library is it there's not even that many books um oh book display yeah, how about like right as they come in, book display And let's do some hand sanitizer, you know, stay clean And oh, and a plant Alright, there's our library And now we're gonna need to hire an assistant to work in the library So, uh, so we've got, pause for a quick second We've got three options, we've got Samantha Higginbotham Timothy Cloud and Joey Dingle So Samantha funny and moves faster to me uh oh has a boost to library management that's pretty good uh, but poor personal hygiene and joey oh also library management but moves faster does drop litter though okay i'm thinking joey's my go-to so joey is gonna be our library assistant and next, we need to complete an assignment in the library. There we go, look. They're completing an assignment. Yeah, that's true. We don't even have, like, a cafeteria for them, now that I think about it. That's probably something at one point that they're going to need, right? Like, more than just vending machines. Pretty sure if you just ate vending machine food, you would you you would die. <laughs> it's not gonna be healthy for you. <laughs> if you ate nothing but cheesy cubbins for a year straight, <laughs> you would be miserable. Oh, now we're gonna see if they can pass their class with A B. Oh, we've got mail. Oh, it's our monthly income report. So we did have an overall profit tuition fees plus rent plus the XP or XP bonus is pretty darn good all right we're doing good um still we're managing to stay afloat uh, let's check on our school see how everything's going everything look good in here this guy's just like relaxing I suppose and then let's go check on the classroom we got got some people enjoying some Cheesy Gubbins There they are doing Scientography things <gasps> Somebody littered <gasps> Somebody littered Our poor janitor Arthur Buskill is going to have to go take care of that now Is this where I set the prices? Maybe you don't Maybe you don't set individual prices in this game you could in two point uh, hospital, keep getting the two mixed up You could say how much treatments were going to cost and how much food was going to cost and how much Little things like that were going to cost Oh look, they have little, those little plasma lamps What is going on? Dude, find another bathroom what you... Oh, they're littering inside their rooms too That's so cute that they add these little personal touches though, like they've got a candle books propped up. This person's got some coffee and like a smoothie and phone and juicy cuppins and then these two have the plasma lamps and very cute that they, the rooms do look slightly different and then the different kinds of curtains on different kinds of windows. I think this is very cute. I mean, it's basically what I expected. It's all the fun of two point hospital but with the school flair new gameplay slightly different all right our students have gone from c grade jumps to b grade brain ads <laughs> educate provide better staff and facilities to improve your students grades nurture make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rate and expand earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students I understand. Oh, we made even more money in January. Oh, 
kudosh was the special, like, almost like a, you know, in mobile games and stuff like that, how you'll have, like, two forms of currency, one that you, like, earn normally and one that's, like, you pay for. <laughs> that's almost like what kudosh are. Um, you can spend them on special things, and so we're going to, and they look like a little, uh, K, like this special little K. Um, and you have to spend the kudosh to unlock them, and then you have them permanently across your game, but you pay for them with normal money. So, things we could unlock right now are, uh, palpitation machine, that's like orange juice, I guess. Morsel Mel machine. A meat wizard. <laughs> so that video game. Some sort of punching bag thing. Water cooler. A love trumpet. Develop romances and sweethearts. Huh. A car boot. A partition wall. That's actually kind of interesting. And a bunch of plants. Plants. Chairs. Some gothic kind of stuff. For Wolfric. Oh, and some rugs. I do like the, the rugs because I feel like, you know, we could be putting down things on the floor, making things look a little cozier. And then a lot, a lot, a lot of posters. We have 230 kudos, so we've got quite a lot. Let's do the rainbow rug. A little bit of pride. Yes, yes. And now that's going to be available for us to buy for 250. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to put it in the big rug, uh, the big room. There we go. And now we can say, and there were roommates. And okay, let's hit play. So we did it. We unlocked. Oh, a staff room. Interesting. Okay, so we've. What we've got? Mm, they want a student lounge. I think we could build a student lounge. I think we could do it. Uh, but we also need to build a staff room. Okay, we're building a bit of both, I suppose. Um, let's build a student lounge next to the library. Actually, put it over here. Alright, so let's see. Uh, couch. Couch. From this wall, let's do some kitchen kind of stuff. They can have like a microwave, a regular thing, and a sink. And behind them, there'll be a dartboard. Uh, don't forget to sanitize your hands when you leave. A fun plant in the corner. We love TP. Two point, not toilet paper. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Maybe. Maybe this. Oops, I didn't mean to put it there. Since we don't have a TV or something to put on that wall. Oh, we don't have a fridge. Uh, can I get a fridge and? Hmm. Alright, fridge is going on the other wall then. Makes absolutely no sense. Don't expect it to make sense. There we go. Okay, and that's the student lounge. It's a really good student lounge, I think. Room for them to make snacks and microwavable ramen. <laughs> Hang out. Okay. Um, next, we're going to build a staff room, and I'm just going to play while we do that. Staff room. And the staff room I'm going to put down here. Behind the lecture room needs to be at least three by two. I'm gonna do three by four. All right, basically very similar to the student lounge. I'm gonna put like couch and and a chair. It's actually very similar. A coffee table for them and cubby holes. Okay. Uh, a, 
staff room notice board. Sure, okay. What else should we put right in here? Maybe they want to play darts too, yeah. Put, you know, pictures of students they don't like up on the wall. No, I'm just kidding. And of course, don't forget to sanitize your hands. Oh, I absolutely hate this wallpaper rug combo. I, that is... Oh no, I don't like it. <laughs> so, we need to get our staff happiness up. I think that now that they have this room, that's going to be a lot better. However, we need to employ two more staff members. So right off the bat, I think we could hire another janitor, to be honest, because I'm seeing trash that I guess our our lovely janitor is not quite getting around to doing fast enough. So let's take a look. We've got Gary Desert, who is fast, very fast, good personal hygiene. Gary sounds like a real winner. Garth Rainbow, with an amazing name. Don't you just love the names in this game? Maintenance and Faster. Oh, Garth is also good, but oh, very, very, very pricey. Just Dynamite. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. And Max Lynx. Hmm. So wait, let me just take a look at our other stuff because I've already forgotten what was the... What is Arthur good at? Arthur moves fast and has good personal hygiene and is happy. Uh, so maybe we want to get um, someone who's good at the maintenance. Garth is maybe a, a bit out of our price range, so let's go for either Dress or Max, who are the same amount. Dress just has a little bit more going. Okay, Jess is our new hire. Uh, we just need to get another staff member. I don't really know what we need. Another teacher, maybe? Okay, let's get another teacher, I suppose. 70% teaching skill, 70% teaching skill. Ursula Mouth is a bit better than Isaac Mayonnaise, because Isaac is gross and has a weak bladder. And Ursula is fast. So I guess Ursula can be teaching when the other teacher is on a break, maybe? And we've got two rooms, so um, let's do some more extra credit. A level three science lab. Okay, right now, what do we have? A level two. Let's add some more items and make it a level three. So we could probably add the science shelf for how can we take a look at the room prestige? So first of all, we could make the room just bigger, um, and then, yeah, let's see if we make it bigger by two. No, 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 don't sell anything. Oops. Yeah, just put it on that wall for now. And then it's gone up a level, but then do we have enough to buy another one of these things? shape. Oh man, how, do, how can we... Maybe if we move... Sorry guys, sorry. If we do it like this and like... Oh, you can only get one. You can only get one? I didn't even realize that. Um, well then there's no real reason to have... Let's put it in the middle then. No real reason you have made the room so much bigger. I'm just gonna put in a couple more shelves and now we have a level 3 science lab. Uh, and then we just want them to complete two assignments. Uh oh, we lost a bit of money this month. Relationship item request. I knew I liked my friend, I just didn't realize how I liked my friend. So Felix would like to date Henrietta, I guess. And with the love bench, okay. Um, let's put the love bench outside the student lounge. 
this is an invalid. Where does it have to go outside? Sorry, it's gotta go outside. There we go. Um, now what? You do go sit on it or something? Send one more monthly income report. Okay, things are okay. They're fine, they're fine. So do they have to go sit on it? Another sign request. Uh, textbook cubicle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just put one in this back corner. There we go. I feel like I've completed. Okay, at least one. But what about these two? The love trump- love trumpet? Love trumpet? What is a love trumpet? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's another one with the same person, Henrietta. Does that mean two different people want to date Henrietta? Okay. Well, I guess we're unlocking it and I'm gonna put the love trumpet on the other side. Good luck, everybody, with, uh, good luck, Henrietta. <laughs> Henrietta's the, the popular person on campus, I guess. Look at it, look at our little school. We've got the dorms. No showers, we've got stinky students, but... Classroom and little teacher lounge. So how does it... How do we say that we've completed... Oh, yeah, there we go. Next. Uh, level 3 dormitory, satisfy two personal goals. Well, weren't these the personal goals? The, uh, the relationship thing? Develop two best friend friendships. Oh, look, here they go. <gasps> Alright, I guess Henrietta and Felix are dating their sweethearts. But what happened to the other person? You may hear a little bit of jingling, and that's Atticus. He's sitting in here, his collar has a little jingle bell on it, so when he scratches, you know. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's make this one a level three dormitory. I think we can do that. It's already two and a half. So, um, let's add another IRDB. They really love two point. And oh, how about this dorm notice board? That's really cute. And honestly, you should probably have another desk. There probably should be like one desk per one desk per uh, student or bed, right? Oh, can it not fit? Oh, it can go in there. There we go. We got dormitory level three. Whoa, look at that! So I can go up to soulmate level with that. So we have one best friend friendship, and we have one level three dormitory. We just need to help the students satisfy their personal goals. Our academic results are 86%. Wow, they're like A students. Even Wolfric, he's my favorite. Where's Wolfric? That's, that's not Wolfric. Just, where's the goth? There you are. Are you crying? What's wrong? It's a dark aura. <laughs> oh. Well, frickin' Willow Weaver are good friends. That's really nice. Oh, student debt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, we only have three more months to go before the term is up. We have a weed, actually a weed infestation. Went for a soggy stretch of wet patch. Time that it's rainy and muggy and dank. It may not be for everyone, but I'm sure the weeds will enjoy it. Mm, so our, our janitors are going to have to really hustle. Hmm. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Has my audio not been playing this entire time? So, have you just had silence this whole time? I just realized that OBS was not capturing the desktop audio, um, which is outstanding. 
honestly, you weren't missing too much because this game doesn't have the most relaxing audio. It's a lot of the little the Tanoe things, and I mean, you saw it. Oh, we have a new couple. Who's the couple? Alf and uh, Tessa. Oh, but they littered, which is not great. Is this a weed? This looks like a weed. Yeah. Oh, oh what was that? Did you see that? A bookworm. I got an achievement for that for capturing the bookworm. <laughs> How funny was that? That was very funny. Anyway, my apologies. Uh, you probably don't care too much as this is not really the kind of video where you need to hear the, the sound, especially to relax. But you probably just heard me harping on and on about the audio and adjusting it and. And here, lo and behold, I wasn't even capturing the audio. <laughs> kind of funny. Again, you didn't miss much. I'm not too upset about that. So, in the future, you're able to buy these plots. Anything with the little the lines. So, is it just this one? And this, I guess. What about across the street? Well, no, because these are people's homes. Yeah, we're doing good. We're still in the green. Um. Not as much in the green as maybe we would like, but... We just need to develop a more best friend of friendship. Could you become best friends with your friend? Maybe Wolfric. Don't you have a... Passing on happiness? That's... Very sweet. Oh, one more month though. Here we go. This is like the timeline showing where we are. Cheese and firecrackers, a lip mouse test. <laughs> That's very funny. Very, very funny. I love this game. The only reason why I I didn't buy it is just because it's a bit pricey. The, the two point games are $40. So I try not to buy them unless they're on sale. Despite the fact that, look, let's be real, I do get a a big enjoyment out of these games, I really do, so it's probably worth it, but I'm just such a, a cheap, frugal kind of person that I don't love to buy games at full price, so I did just spend a dollar on the Game Pass to play this, um, because it's on the Game Pass. Uh, so, if you'd also like to play this, you can play it on the Game Pass, or you can buy it on Steam, stuff like that. I definitely will be buying this for myself because I want to play this for more than a month. Uh, but again, probably waiting for a sale. Oh, we did it. We did the happy students and now we're almost done with the year. And let's see what happened. We've completed a full academic, well, full calendar year, really. <laughs> Here we go. Just a few more seconds. Let's see how all our, our students did. End of year awards. Oh, they did this in Two Point uh, Hospital too. They had little awards for like best hospital. Oh. It's like our graduation ceremony. A hundred percent pass rate. Wow. Average exam results eighty four percent. That's pretty good. No one's graduating yet though. I guess they're still in school. No awards to give out. Oh, and now they're on summer break. Oh, interesting. So we keep playing despite the fact that... Okay, that's interesting. Well, I think we are gonna... I think we're gonna stop here because I think after one whole school year, that is a good place to call it quits. Uh, wow. A lot of fun, yeah. Two point of campus is getting two point thumbs up from me. That didn't make any sense. Definitely a lot of fun. One of those addicting fun management games. I hope you enjoyed it like I did. Um, just out of curiosity, let's see what kind of course can we add? Just virtual normality. So it's like a VR class. Oh, this is so interesting. 
they really, really expanded on the game a lot. Hmm. So these are the classes that they'll be taking. Wow, they've added so much, and look at all these different courses we'll be able to unlock. Oh, that's really fun. This is cute. Can I get 20 new students and more tuition fees? Offering two different courses. We'll probably need to build another set of maybe dorms, new classrooms. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry again about the audio situation, but you probably weren't too bothered by it. Well, you weren't missing much, like I said. So, don't be too upset. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I will see you all on another campus. No, I'll see you all on another video. I hope you're having fun playing Two Point Campus yourself. Let me know if you are. Uh, if you never heard of it, then I hope that you learned a bit about the game and maybe it's something you'll be checking out for yourself, getting the game pass and trying it. Alright. Sleep tight tonight and uh, love you guys. See you later.